I'd like to just offer you a observation today. And it's, it's a topic that I feel I'll probably go more in depth with in the future because it's really at the core of much of what I do really. Um, but for today, I'm just going to stay with the observation and perhaps bring a little awareness um, to your own, let's say, navigation of consuming content online. Um, one of the things that that's happened to me when I started making videos like these is that I obviously started paying attention to what do people watch and um, what gets more views and what doesn't. And I had my like one, one hit wonder of speaking about the matrix that got like, well, a lot more views than what I otherwise get. And and there is a couple of trends that you see in the space. If you're talking about content creators that are speaking to the journey of development, personal development and growth, um, even if on the spiritual journey as well, but especially if you're talking about the pursuit of success financially and well, in anything you do, really, uh, the pursuit of productivity, the pursuit of making money. Um, so that's one thing already. Like there's a there's a trend in terms of what people are watching when it comes to the to the topic, like the general topic. Uh, making money and money is a big one. Um, but then there's also within each of those topics certain trends and, and certain types of videos that everyone is making and that always seems to get a lot of views. And one of those is, and I'm sure you've seen when I mentioned the title, right? Like how to get ahead of 99% of people. And I don't think I've seen a channel that deals with personal development and growth or the pursuit of success in any kind of way that doesn't have a video like that. And it always gets lots of views. And, you know, in my contemplation of, around like, should I make a video like that? I always come back to like a solid no, because there's something fundamentally wrong with the desire to get ahead of people as the, as the core driver of doing anything in life. And it's not that I'm against competition or against wanting to do well or have financial success and all those things. But I'm sure if you, like if you take a breath and just feel inside and ask yourself, is getting ahead of 99% of other people, is that really my path to a meaningful life, a happy and joyful life? sustainable existence in this world? Is that what I want? Um, I don't think it's what anyone wants. I think we're driven by subconscious desires that are planted in us very early in childhood. And this one in particular, a lot of people share, but it never brings anyone any happiness lasting. Um, now that's a, how you say, like that's a, that's a, an assumption or a assertion of mine that I can't back up with any data at all. Um, though plenty of, of books have been written on the topic of pursuing, like from a competitive and fearful state, and that even if you reach your goals, like you'll never, it'll never make you happy. And my entire work is about finding ways to create a life that like you genuinely love. And I guess for, for a few, like a subset of people, a very, very few, the ultimate joy of life will come from competing with and beating other, other people at whatever you're doing. But in general, I think it's just much more worthwhile to, to pursue figuring out how you enjoy spending your time and then let that be your drive, not getting ahead. I think the world is such a privileged place that we don't need to get ahead of other people in order to have a beautiful, meaningful life. Um, 
Now, the irony of all of this is that probably if you pursue a meaningful life and you like really direct all your attention towards it, align all of your conscious energy towards creating that life for yourself, you most likely will get ahead of much more than 99% of people. Um, but I just, I don't think it's a good place to start from. And I think most people eventually end up realizing that me competing with other people for a, what's it called when, when you have like a, uh, um, like the typical reference in, in lead leadership management uh, is like the pie, right? Whether it's a, I forget the term, but whether it's like one pie where you divide it into as many pieces as, well, as, as the pie can, can offer, but it's like, it's finite. It, there's a limited amount of reward. There's not a limited amount of reward in this world. I honestly believe, and maybe it's a naive belief, but I, I honestly believe that anyone who chooses can find a way to, to be over the top, over the moon, uh, just happy and joyful and creative in this life without having to worry about getting ahead of anyone. And honestly, if, if that's the, if that's the platform that we, that we start from, that I need to get ahead, then we're awful. All we're already in a fearful state. We're already in a, what you would call like a contracted state. And it's not a good place to grow from. Um, do you see growth from that state? Yeah, sure. You can grow from that state and you can become successful. I just don't believe it'll make you happy. Um, so yeah, let's stick with that today. I think it's a, it's a really complicated topic because it deals with like the primal desires that are part of the human nature and that that is part of why we even get up in the morning um and like i have my experience but who am i to say that that everyone shares that experience it seems like a lot of people do and especially when people get very successful they are very vocal about hey be careful of this like reaching success and spending all of your life just chasing you know getting to the top of the pyramid it's not worth it you'll probably get there anyway like if you let go of the desire to actually get to the top it's more likely that you will um but yeah i don't know that's my message is just an observation that wow, the internet, YouTube is full of videos like, like that, how to get ahead of 99% of people. Um, then I, interesting, I saw, uh, I saw Mark Manchin had, had made a, his version of that, um, where he gave like his input, his philosophy and, and talked about why most of those that, that, that made videos about how to get ahead of 99% people they were um giving wrong advice for how to do it but but he was still actually like very stuck on the hey we need to get ahead idea but um but yeah he but he was using i don't know weird references like steve jobs and stuff like steve Jobs is not one in a hundred steve jobs is one in a million and yeah anyways um just beware of Certain messages out there appeal to the to the fearful side of us, appeal to to you know division, conflict, defense, um, like the, the the things where we feel unsafe, where we feel like we have to we have to be at odds with the world in order in order to conquer it and in order to 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 be okay and. I, I, I feel like there's a better way. Um, I'm finding my way and I certainly hope to be very successful at what I do. Um, I'm not trying to get ahead of anyone. I'm just trying to, to grow 
as best as I can in the direction that seems meaningful to me. Um, and, and I'd love to inspire others, hopefully many, to do the same, because I think that would be good for everyone. So that's my message today. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, I got links um, and stuff in the description.